want to discuss a couple of DVDs, some Blu-rays, uh, a couple of VHS tapes. I think you guys might want to check out over the uh, Halloween season here. Uh, but let's get to it. The first one here is The Legend of Bikini Bottom, Spongebob. Um, I'm not a huge cartoon guy, but Spongebob, I've always had a soft spot for this. The reason I picked this up though, guys, is this is actually a stop motion feature, uh, about 22 minutes long. So it's got that same kind of vibe as the original uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, if you guys are familiar with that. Um, same kind of look to it. Uh, it's, it's really cool. Uh, it's kind of got a vibe of like the Nightmare Before Christmas too, to it as well. Um, and for the running length of this, like I, I really thought this was, you know, this is up there, you know, as far as, uh, you know, Nightmare Before Christmas. And this is kind of like right up there with, for me as like kind of an animated uh, kind of a kid's show slash adult kind of Halloween kind of thing. Um, you know, Spongebob, Spongebob, basically he's running around laughing the whole time. He can't, he's not taking Halloween seriously. So, you know, Flying Dutchman kind of comes along and things kind of progress and they end up going through this sort of haunted house and there's this whole segment, uh, you know, a like five minute long kind of segment where they're going through this sort of haunted house and a ride and the visuals are, it's incredible. I think this was all stop motion. Um, there's a few behind the scenes kind of explaining, you know, how long it takes to do this kind of stuff. And you know, obviously it takes a long time just to film one second. I think they said it takes, uh, oh, I can't remember now, guys. I'm sorry, but, but, um. Yeah, it, definitely worth checking out. It, it's it's brilliant. I, I really can't say enough about it. I'll probably watch it again tonight. Very cool. Um, and if you haven't seen this one as well, this is the uh, the Christmas one they did a few years ago too, SpongeBob Christmas. This is also stop motion, very much like the original um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Very cool. Love the stop motion effects. So check those two out, guys. Uh, the next thing I want to discuss was the uh, Arrow video release of Incident in a Ghost Land. Okay, this is only available on DVD in the U.S. So if you're going to buy this, uh, I think it's like 20 bucks or something in the U.S. Pick this up from Amazon.uk and do yourself a favor. The presentation is fantastic. Uh, 5.1 audio, blah blah blah. You know that the usual kind of thing. The uh, presentation is really nice, nice and crisp. Um, but this is the way to go if you're, if you're going to pick this up. I love Arrow Video. This one's a great one. Um, and basically, it's directed by Pascal Loger. This one here is about a girl who, who's, her family experiences a home invasion when she's younger. Uh, she moves away. She becomes an author. And she's just released uh, a novel, or, 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 yeah, a novel basically outlining what happened to her and her family. And she gets a call from her sister who's in distress. And she still lives out at this old farmhouse. So she, she kind of drops everything. She's on this book tour, drops everything, heads back to the, uh, the old homestead there. And from there, things just get, just get crazy. Uh, there's a lot of jump scares in this. There's also some true gore and horror. Uh, it's pretty terrifying. I love it. It's, it's, it's really well done. Uh, one of the better horror movies I've seen probably in the last couple of years, in my opinion. Um, and if you haven't seen any of his other stuff, I would highly recommend the original Martyrs, of course, from 2008, which is just a gut-wrenching, grueling odyssey of terror. Um, I guess it's in the back here, one of the most ferocious horror movies ever made. Very ferocious, that's a good word. Uh, just brutal. I would definitely track this one down. Uh, I don't even know how to get into explaining about what, what it's, what's going on there. Just, just watch it. And then, of course, The Tall Man. Uh, this one here... Didn't get a lot of great reviews. I really dig it. Um, Jessica Biel's in it. You know, uh, take it or leave it. But, you know, the movie itself is, is really cool. Uh, it's about this little town, kind of a sleepy little town. And what's going on is, uh, you know, a lot of families' children are going missing. And so one night the main character's uh, child goes missing as well. And she, she thinks she sees this mythical figure that people have kind of started to kind of make up to explain things, uh, you know, being the tall man. And uh, what happens is she kind of starts trying to piece this together, trying to figure out who exactly is the tall man. Was it really the tall man that took her kid? Um, and from there, things just kind of evolve and there's a, like a twist and, and uh, something you'll notice about Pascal Loger's films. Maybe not so much an incident in the ghost land, but in Martyrs and this one uh, specifically is you're kind of going along in this, in this movie and then halfway through it, it just kind of changes into something else in a very 
cohesive manner, if that makes any sense. Um, and it just kind of changes into something else and sort of blows you away. You're like, oh my God, I had no idea. So it's not really just a twist, but just sort of stuff just kind of happens. And uh, this is a really intelligent film. So was Martyrs. And Incident in a Ghost Land is, is intelligent and terrifying. So lastly, guys, I dug out a couple classics that I'm going to be watching this week here for the, uh, the Halloween season. The first one is Hell Night. Oh, yeah. Hell Night, guys. I'll just read you the back of these because, um, you know, in these old videos, the synopsis is very short, and I feel like they do a better job than probably me explaining it. But uh, this one here is a, a macabre tale of three young people who spend a night in mysterious Garth Mansion as part of their initiation into Alpha Sigma Rho fraternity and its sister sorority. The murderous history of the mansion not only would make anyone shudder, but who would keep, but would keep anyone miles away from the place. Who will live to tell about Hell Knight? So what happens is there's kind of this half man, half beast guy that's kind of lurking in the mansion itself, and you know there's a couple couple kids that have to go up there and spend the night there to like, you know that's part of their pledge or whatever to become part of their sorority, and so they get up in there. Um, and stuff just starts happening. It's, it's a little bit of a slower pace. I wouldn't say it's like funhouse slow pace, but you know, there's some good kills, there's some good jump scares, and just kind of creepy. And now this was released in 1981, guys, so keep that in mind. Um, and also, the other thing I was going to say about this one is, uh, of course, Linda Blair's in it as well, but uh, it's kind of got a Halloween vibe to it because the, the characters are all kind of in costume and stuff, and I'm not sure exactly. I don't believe it was, I think it was around the Halloween time. I can't really remember. It's been a while since I've seen it, but it's definitely got that Halloween kind of vibe because they're all kind of dressed up in these costumes and stuff. So definitely worth checking out. Of course, I mean, if you can find the media release, the VHS, go for it. But this was also uh, just released on Blu-ray as well. And so definitely, I think you can still pick that one up. I believe it was Show Factory. I should have pulled it before I started talking about this, but uh, oh well. So anyways, Hell Knight, guys. And then the last one I wanted to talk about, one of my personal favorites... Terror Train. Look at that. Awesome. Um, so this one here is, uh, takes place on New Year's Eve, but I've kind of always watched it around Halloween time. Same thing. Guys are in costume. There's a lot of kind of kooky stuff going on and, and sort of that kind of vibe. So I kind of think it's kind of fits into the Halloween genre. Uh, so it's New Year's Eve. There's a bunch of college kids have kind of planned this masquerade on a train. And so they rent out this train. This train's going along. And then all of a sudden, you know, somebody gets killed and then you know there's a bunch of death and it's a slasher right you guys know how it goes um so but yeah there's all kinds of stuff david copperfield's in it we all know that but you know is he the killer you know is it so and so is it this other guy there's it's kind of like a whodunit kind of thriller mystery slash slasher uh jamie lee curtis is in this one as well and um this one's from 1980 so if you haven't seen it this was also released i believe by uh show factory guys and uh Definitely worth checking out. Um, what's interesting about this though is that this is a, this key video release came out in 1988. And the movie's from 1980. I don't know why it took so long. I don't know if it's because it was a Canadian film or, or what the deal was there, but uh, definitely worth checking out as well, guys. So that pretty much does it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed these uh, kind of review discussion thing we just did on all these here. Definitely check out the SpongeBob. It's really cool. Incident in the Ghost Land is you got to see it. It's it's spectacular. I thought it was really, really good. And of course, if, you know, if you want a you know, good old-fashioned 80s scare, go for Hell Knight and Terror Train. Give those a check. And uh, if you guys like what you saw here, please like and subscribe. Uh, and we'll talk to you guys on the next one. Take care.